have a lot to talk about. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah. <sighs> Cooper bleeping cop. I got Cooper Cup. <laughs> you got so lucky, and Tom Brady got so unlucky know, know. thanks to his do? defense. I want to hear about my uh, What about my dude? Run me my dude. Run me my dude. You don't deserve it. 14 cases in two weeks. That's how I get back in it. I told you. Nine last week, five this week. It was eight last week. No, 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 no. You get an unlucky 13. <laughs> what, hey, Skip, I, you should give me two or more cases because I predicted the score and how it happened. I don't care what you do. I can't get two cases for no, that. No, you cannot. Oh, my goodness. Let's talk about it and talk about it. Our show could be 10 hours long, but yeah. still wouldn't be enough night, time. So, Shannon, in your opinion, what was the biggest reason the Bucks lost? Brady got outplayed by Matthew Stafford. This is why they traded Jerry Goff, who took them to the Super Bowl just three, three years ago, and gave up two first-round picks because they needed the guy in big moments. If you're going to stand across the field from Tom Brady, occasionally you're going to have to outplay him. 90% of the time, you're going to have to have your quarterback outplay Tom Brady because he's been in these moments so many times, he rarely ever blinks. Yesterday, he blinked on several occasions. Matthew Stafford never blinked. He never wavered. You keep talking about his defense let Brady down. It was his defense that kept them in the ball game. Brady turned the ball over with 133 left in the half. And what happened? The Bucs defense forced Cam Akers to fumble the football on the one-yard line, which would have made it at worst-case scenario 23. Forced him? Did he, he, he just dropped it. I don't know what he was doing. I didn't see anybody so, even touch the football. He actually did. The, the guy was on the bottom and pulled it out before he went to the ground. That's first and foremost. And again, he got outplayed, Skip Bayless. You look at this. All the credit. Fourth quarter, he comes back. So what about the three, through three quarters? Tom Brady was 19 of 37, 204 yards with one interception. Yeah, and then what happened? The Bucs had only, they lost. That's what happened. I, I was, excuse my, I think I'm talking. Mm -hmm. Bucs only had three points until three minutes left in the game. Uh, third quarter. Skip, did you realize the Bucs never had a drive with more than three first down in all of their drives? Only had two drives in which it see, exceeded 50 yards. Was Tom Brady the quarterback at any point in time during that stretch? I believe he was. So now... The only reason the game got close, Cam Akers fumbled on the one, Cooper Cup fumbled, gave him a short field, bad snap after they had stopped Brady on down, and, oh, excuse me, after Von Miller stripped him, and then Cam Akers fumbled again and gave them a short field. Tom Brady, Skip Bay like to say with his QBR, QBR was 14, 14. Matthew Stafford quarterback rating was 68, so that's almost five times. So with that, and then at the end of the ball game, and this is what it comes down to, late in the ball game, you had every reason. Say, so you know what? Let's just go to overtime. But Cooper Cup ran a great route. He ran a, a seven route, great, made a great move, and shook the DB. And then they came with a bomb blitz. And doesn't seem like two people missed that blitz. It seemed like both of their linebackers didn't get the call. Now, I don't know how Devin White missed the call because guess what? He has the green dot on the back of his helmet, and he's supposed to get the call. Levante David was supposed to come, and I think B.A. was upset about that. said, yeah, we came with a blitz, but mm, all of us didn't blitz. So for me, long story short, Skip, Matthew Stafford outplayed Tom Brady yesterday, beat him at his own game because so many times before, Tom Brady has been on the end of what Matthew Stafford was on. Mm. And all the other quarterbacks was on the side of Tom Brady. Mm. This was the one few times that Matthew Stafford could say, you know what? I got the better of him. Mm. Now it is my turn. Now it is time for the truth of what happened yesterday because I saw a completely no, different didn't. game. I guess I got to get a new TV because mine you does not work. Team. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Yeah. What happened yesterday was Tom Brady very nearly pulled off the greatest comeback of his career under the circumstances because he was playing with one arm tied behind his back. He goes into the game without his right tackle, Tristan Wirfs, mm -hmm. and the backup is a 31-year-old journeyman who's bounced around the league, undrafted out of James Madison, playing with a quad injury that turned into an ankle injury, which forced the backup right 
right guard, an undrafted free agent rookie out of Rice to play right tackle for much of the second half. Are you kidding me? And then let's go to receivers, shall we? Obviously, there's no Chris Godwin and there's no Antonio Brown. When they were healthy and eligible to play, they were the top two targeted receivers to, for Tom Brady. They lost it around then, with those guys. Then what happened to Bashard Perriman? Uh, remember that game back on December the 12th against those Buffalo Bills? Tom Brady threw a walk-off pass to Bashard Perriman. Did he play yesterday? No, he was inactive with a hamstring pull. <laughs> then what Bashar happened Perriman. at Jets on the AB meltdown walk-off game? What happened at the end of that game? Well, there was a walk-off pass thrown by the GOAT to Cyril Grayson, undrafted out of LSU, a track man. Was he eligible to play yesterday? Nope. He was eligible. But he didn't play. He didn't even suit up because he also had a hamstring pull. Tyler Johnson was then forced into the slot. What happened to Tyler Johnson yesterday? He got his ribs cracked and played only about half the game. So the whole second half, they're having to use the backup tight end as their slot receiver in Cameron Bright. And you're telling me Brady got outplayed. He did. Baloney. He did got outplayed. It's the biggest bunch of baloney you've ever spewed. Matthew Stafford. Guess what Matthew Stafford had in the second? Yeah. It's my turn. Stop it. It is <laughs> my turn it. because Matthew Stafford. Oh, that's really funny. Yes. Matthew you still Stafford. Lost. Time out. Lost. I, you know what? I think it's my turn. It's, you, you know, I let you spew all your baloney. No, start no, the show. I didn't say a freaking word. It's, it's not. Over Skip. He okay, lost. here we go. It is my turn. He's still lost. <sighs> Take the rest of the show. Okay. He's still lost. So. Tyler Johnson cannot go in the second half, and Matthew Stafford, until the last two throws to Cooper freaking Cup, had totaled 73 yards passing in the second half, and you're trying to make some bogus case. He How, many How many turnovers? It's How many turnovers? It's my turn. How many turnovers? You ceded the floor to me because you know I'm just running you over as usual. <laughs> you run okay. me over? And the Ram right. ran them over. Finally, there's one other speed receiver on the roster, and his name is Jalen Darden, and he returns punts. What happened to Jalen Darden in the second half? He got concussed. He was gone. He played one snap on offense because he was not available. Was there any Rojo as in Ronald Jones yesterday? No, there was no Rojo. Huh. So all of a sudden, Tom Brady is up against the fiercest pass rush in pro football. There's not a better pass rush than this one. You've told me that yourself. 49ers are close. Uh, no, they're not close. This is the best. Okay. You've told me that from the start. Oh, what do we say about Eric Dahl? He's the greatest defensive player ever. Uh, what do you say about Von close. Miller? He has Big rejuvenated. Game. He yep. has recaptured 2015 all over again. What do we say about Gaines? What do we say about Floyd? They're coming at Tom Brady, and he got pressured by... By far the most of the whole season, it wasn't even close. 30% yeah. of the snaps, he was under fire. Mm -hmm. So what do you think is going to happen to a 44-year-old? I never said he was mobile, but he made a couple of really sweet throws while using his sweet feet to get open in the pocket. Yeah, he did. Okay, so here we go. And Tom Brady pulls off this comeback. If we could see the throw to Mike Evans, he's up against the best cornerback in pro football, says the Hall of Famer Shannon yeah. Sharp. And if we could see this late throw to Mike Evans with 327 left in the game, is this not goat goading? Whoa! I, I just fell out of my chair. He did that. To, he called, he yeah. called Jay Ram napping. He called Jay Ram napping. Yeah, he, he knows did. nothing cheap, and, nothing and, deep. And, and finally, they gave Tom Brady actually like three seconds to throw instead of 2.1 well, seconds. Grog chip, chip by Miller okay, on his way out. All right, and, and boom, all of a sudden I'm saying, would you believe they're back in the game? Would you believe that the GOAT is GOATing? Because in the fourth quarter, the GOAT threw for 125 yards. He did it again to the biggest degree of difficulty defense he could possibly be facing without his right tackle and without his full complement of receivers. And yet... He brings it back, he chips away, he, he scratches, he claws, he guts it out. He gets it all the way to, what was it, 27 all. Yeah. He scores 24 straight unanswered points mm -hmm. in the second half. Right. And all of a sudden, it comes down to two plays to Cooper Cup. First play was actually Matt Stafford panicked and bolted up the middle, and he was starting to unravel because he will unravel if you put him under fire. And I thought on the first down play, I, he almost fumbled the football. And if he'd fumbled, then we're having a very well, different conversation. I think his knee was down, Skip. It was down, but yeah. it was close because yeah. the ball was starting to come free, but he also was able to 
to pull it back. Here you see it one more time. I don't know if we get the reverse angle of it. But the point was, it was dangerous. Mm -hmm. And then on second down, they put Sean Murphy bunting as they had most of the game on Cooper Cup. There's really no double team that I can see on him. But Not on this play. All, all Cooper Cup did this year was win the triple crown of receiving. He, he led in everything. And Sean Murphy bunting got completely faked right off he his did. feet. It was the, the best move I saw all day by any receiver on any cornerback, and that was that. Now I get down to the bane of my existence, a play that will haunt me for the rest of my born days, the play that cost the Buccaneers the greatest Tom Brady comeback ever, and, and I am the biggest Todd Bowles fan, so I'm not going to throw him under my bus today because I hope he gets a head coaching job mm -hmm. because he deserves a second chance after getting stuck with Fitzmagic and the Jets <laughs> for those years. But the point was, I'm not sure why he blitzed, but I'm, I'm okay. Anytime somebody blitzes, I, I like the aggression of it. Right. I'm not sure what good it does you at this point because – all you got to do is just keep them underneath you. Just keep them to a 15 or 20 yard completion. And what happens on this play? Again, everybody's writing about it or criticizing it as cover zero. It, to me, I call that cover one because Antoine Winfield is playing center field. Well, okay. what, what happened, Skip, is that it, there, it was supposed to be a bomb blitz. And what happened, both linebackers didn't come. They missed it. And so okay. he's, he's had, okay, he has cup. To me, cup. cover zero is no safety. So that's, that's what I call he, it. No, he has, he has cup man-to-man. -man. So that's, okay. that's, that's, where the, that's where it looks like one. But he has it man-to-man. -man. Okay. All right. But my point is that Sean Murphy Bunting, again, is lined up opposite Cooper Cup in the slot. Right. And what do they call in the huddle? They call a play, a, a route that they call a love of the game route yeah, to Cooper just Cup. Go clear. Because you're just a decoy. Right. All you got to do is just clear the middle right out because you're going to come underneath. I don't know if it's Odell. I don't know if it's Tabane. I don't know up. if it's the Higby. The I don't know. Up. Who's ever going to come underneath right. and they're going to try to get 15 or 20 yards or get somebody loose right. and try to get a, a 60 yard field goal try? Right. That's what they're going to well, try no, to do. Well, no, Skip, because remember, they still have the, they still have a timeout in that I situation. I thought they had blown their no, timeout. No, no. Remember, they called. No, they, they did. But they were going to come up and kill the, ball, kill the clock. They just, okay. they, they just wanted something. Okay. Something All right. But it's, still, it, it's too far to go because it's still yeah. 44 yards away. Right. And all of a sudden, here's what got me was Sean Murphy. I don't care about the linebackers as much, but Sean Murphy bunting comes unblocked out of the slot. Right. And I don't know what possessed him. I've been trying to look at the tape. I've been trying to, I, I don't have a great angle on it. He just stops. He just pulls up. I don't know if he was feared that he would rough him right. or, or what, but. But listen, it takes a while for Cooper Cup to have enough time to run by Antoine Winfield. Right. you got to give him three, 3.5 seconds to have time. And it looks like both Sue and Sean Murphy Bunting have a chance. But, but Sean just pulls up. He's free running. Right. I'm telling you, nobody blocks no. him. Free runner to the quarterback. But the real free runner was supposed to be Levante Davis, Skip. Because okay, well, he just stood. He, 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 right. he, he didn't go. And, and after the game, he indicated he did not hear the call. Okay, if that's true then it, <laughs> bad on you. It's, it's, it's your bad, okay? Mm -hmm. I got it. And I don't know what Devin White was doing. I don't he really know what anybody is doing except for Sean Murphy Bunting. He's the one that knows he's supposed to blitz because he comes out of the slot mm -hmm. hard. And then you, you can see him. He right. just pulls up. I don't, I don't know why he didn't finish. If they get home, then we're having a different conversation because it's going to overtime and it would probably come down to the coin flip yes, to me, right? Yes, yes, Okay, the next game that we saw, it came down to the coin flip. <laughs> yeah. And unfortunately, I always say call heads. I can't give you, I can't give I you mathematics on it, but <laughs> no, they called Buffalo, tails. called oh. tails, and it came up heads and the game was over because Mahomes got the ball first. Especially okay. after he, what he had did, Skip, just to get them the field okay. goal so okay. you know he's hot. Okay, I got it. So my point is that, yeah, Brady was going to struggle. I get the 14 QBR because you're up against it. They can't protect you, and you don't have people who can separate because every down they've got Jalen Ramsey on Mike Evans. I, I don't know how you could get a better matchup than that because you've got big corner against tall receiver, right. tall, strong receiver, and on Gronk, and he's starting to get up there in years. He's not as quick as he used to be. Right. They doubled him 
every snap. Every snap, there are at least two, and sometimes it looked like there were three on Gronk because right. they're just saying, you can't have him today. Well, you, well we feel like there are only two guys that can beat us. That's Mike Evans and Gronk. That's all that's left. And we saw, we saw what San Francisco, what did San Francisco do? They took Devontae away. They says, okay, go play with Cobb. Go play with Lazar. Go play with Equinemia St. Brown. Do whatever you need to do. But those two guys are not going to beat us, Skip. And so do you believe Tyler Johnson? Do you believe what's the, uh, the Scotty Miller? Do you believe Cameron Bray? Do you believe those guys can consistently beat us? The Rams did not. So they said, you know what? With the exception of that one play to uh, uh, Mike Evans, they did an unbelievable job okay, on Mike so, Evans. So remember, Scotty Miller becomes his best option, Brady's best option. Yeah. He's played none all year mm -hmm. because he had a heel injury. I'm not sure what it was, but, but he's only come back into the rotation the last couple of games. Right. And in this one, he got forced into primary right. receiver role because yeah. late in the game, Brady just said, I guess I got to go to little number 10 because right. that's all I got. Right. Okay, so if you're going to let Cooper Cup do that to you and also do this to you, because we got to see this one, because this one's early second quarter. They blew it. <laughs> this Somebody thought Cooper it was cover Cup. two and they was playing quarters. Yeah, and, and this is the old Tampa two, Tony Dun Dungy made famous, and Mike Edwards is the safety on that side. I have no idea what he's doing. He takes the middle route. And Cooper Cup is off to the races on Carlton Davis, who just shoot him right into the secondary, just let him go right by. Right. And you can't win. And Matt Stafford didn't really throw a very good pass because he had to stop for it. Right. He had to stop and catch it, turn around and catch it. Well, see, the thing is, Skip, the slot guy eats up the safety so much, he can't get over the top because he's worried about giving up the middle of the field. So now... You see, you see what Van Jefferson is? That's why he had the hole, Skip. Look at Van Jefferson eat up that cushion on, on um, the, uh, the, the on linebacker. Oh, yeah. On the linebacker. Yeah, yeah. because he's running, he's running down the hole to make it look like a three deep. But because Van Jefferson eats it up so quick on Devin White, he has to hold. Stafford does a great job looking at Van Jefferson, and at the last second, his Cooper Cup on the rail route. Okay. The other problem that Brady was up against is his defense has let him down all year long. Mm -mm. And yesterday was the first day since the opening night against my Dallas Cowboys on that opening Thursday night that all 11 starters were back in the lineup. First day. Yeah. And yet what happened? They got no pressure on Matt Stafford. I don't know what happened. Did Shaq Barrett play yesterday? Because I couldn't find him. He registered almost no stats. Mm -mm. And JPP needs surgery. He's got a torn labrum, Baker Mayfield kind of injury. Right. He's going to have surgery immediately. And he was pretty much a shell of himself. The pass rush was what they did to Mahomes in the Super Bowl was not happening yesterday. Well, Skip, you see, here's the problem that I have with what you said about his offensive line, about playing the this and that. You make concessions for Brady. You never gave for Mahomes. Mahomes went to the went to the Super Bowl with five different starting offensive linemen. And all you did was laud Tom Brady for what he did. Mm. You didn't give the defense any credit. You see, that's the problem that I have. Did it, uh, Patrick Mahomes have Tyreek in the Super Bowl? Yeah, he did. Did he have Kelsey? Skip, yeah, he did. Skip. Did he have me cold? Yeah, he Skip. did. Do, I, do you want me to keep it going? It doesn't matter. If you can't, you can't hit him on your back. Now, here's the thing. Now, when you didn't say Matt Ryan defense let him down when they came back from 28-3, you didn't say Legion of Boom let the uh, uh, Russell Wilson down. You said mm. Tom Brady, Tom Brady, Tom Brady. Now Tom Brady loses. You don't want to give Matthew Stafford any credit. He outplayed him. The QBR, the numbers. He didn't turn the ball over. Mm. Brady had two turnovers. On every turnover that Brady had, the defense first forced a turnover. Let that sink in okay, for a second. There were yeah. four fumbles lost, and two of them were forced, and two of them were unforced. It doesn't matter. They still go down as fumbles. Who got the ball? You got the ball. When your guy turned it over, remember that, Skip. Von Miller stripped Tom Brady at like the 20-yard line. And what happened? They snapped the ball, and he goes to midfield, and you guys get it. Okay, but we didn't force that. That was unforced. But okay? Skip, but, but it was the defense. Tom Brady was not on the field. I'm not going to allow you to give Tom Brady for something that he wasn't on the field for. I'm not going to allow you to blame the defense for something they weren't on the field for. They were not on the field for those two Tom Brady turnovers. Mm. Tom Brady was not on the field for those four fumble recoveries. So at some point in time, you got to hold Tom Brady culpable. Mm. Yeah, with one arm tied behind his no, back. No, I don't one arm. No, 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 no. I want to hear that. Mm -mm, okay, mm -mm. now my two other least favorite plays of the game. First one goes to Indomitian Sioux. If we could see this, this is 454 left in the first one. I think it's still a game, and he actually gets a little bit of pressure on Matt Stafford, 
and forces an incomplete and gets up and screams in his face. I don't know if it's a Detroit thing. I think if they will kill I, you. I, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know. But you get, immediately give him back 15 yards. Right. You're going to lose if you make plays like that's what? a loser play. And right away, they go right down, and all of a sudden, it's 10 to nothing. Yep, okay? yep, yep. Come on. There's another one in and there now, somewhere. And here's another one on Thomas Edward Patrick Psycho. Brady Jr. Uh -huh. Psycho Tom. Mm -hmm. He gets busted in the mouth by Von Miller's helmet, gets hit right up under the chin. It's an obvious foul. He turns to, to Hockley's son. And, yeah, he screamed at him because he said, that's a foul. Now he is he hits me right in the, the mouth and I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. It's football. It's football. That's what happens. You oh, get hit really? in the mouth. Is Suck him in the mouth. Wait, is it now legal to, to go helmet to mouth? Is that, get, is that okay? I bet he hit the man in the chin. He, he hit him in the chin. He hit him right up under the chin. And I don't know if he bit his tongue, if he it's bit football. his lip. It's football. Okay. Is that not a foul? Is it no blood, no foul? Or what? That looked like blood foul well, to me. Let me ask you a question. Right? I thought you said the football. And that cost him 15 yards off. You told me, Skip, that the team takes on the personality of the head coach. Mm -hmm. Now, we saw a situation last week where the coach lost his composure mm -hmm. and punched the guy side the head. So how do you – we saw Levante David after take his helmet off. So you can't expect your players to behave in a manner and be calm and cool, collective, when your head coach can't. Mm. Brady was just asking for what was right. No, no, he, and he deserved to. All he He's had like, to, I'm bleeding. No, all he had to do was turn and say, he hit me on the head. He hit me. The yeah. You know the bleep and he bleep, bleep, bleep. And remember, he did an interview and he said, I get away with a lot of things mm -hmm. that other players don't get away as far as yelling and screaming mm -hmm. at the officials. You remember he just said that. The officials mm -hmm. said, oh, you do, huh? Mm -hmm. You boasted. You bragging about it. Well, here, take this 15 with you. <sighs> Tampa Bay twice kicked off out of bounds, which gives you the ball all the way out at the, what, 40-yard line? Yeah. Twice they did mm -hmm. that and still overcame that. Tom Brady suffered four drop passes yesterday and overcame that with 24 straight points to get to 27 what? all. Are you kidding Hold me? On, so, so, so I'm just making sure Ooh. now. Matthew Stafford had no drop passes? I, I didn't count. Oh, uh, Tigby. Yeah. Tigby had one on third down. Yeah, he did. Okay, I'm just that. checking, just making sure. Okay, and in the end... Brady pulled off something that, that he has never pulled off in his career. With the highest degree of difficulty, he brings them all the way back to 27-all against the team that obviously on paper is the best team left in the playoffs on both offense and defense because you love Odell. You, oh, you saw him yesterday. Good. You saw nephew. You saw what he did in the first I, half. I, I couldn't find him in the second half. Did hey, he play? They gave him two did targets. Did he get hurt? They gave him two targets. Oh. But did you see him in the first half? Does oh. he look like he washed? Huh. I don't know. Uh, when, when he gets single covered every single yeah. time. He, 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 he was okay. eating single covered, was too. He really? Yes. Huh. How yes. Many, how many touchdowns did he catch? He didn't have any touchdowns. Oh, but, he had no touchdowns. Did he have catches that huh. led to touchdowns? Interesting. Did you see that one on Jamel Dean on the sideline, the acrobatic, the one you say he put in his back pocket? Huh. Did you see that one? I, I saw him actually ha double yeah. catch that ball because it kind of popped up it, in his it, hands and he had to double catch it. Did he it. catch it? Yeah, he did, did but he had to really touchdown? work at it. I, did, uh, hey. I, I think he was having nervous hands look, look, on that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. Look at all that in the slut. You see that's cover two? In the seat? Look at this. Hands. Ooh. Yep. Look at his huh. back shoulder. Huh. Ow, don't do it. That's Hold it. One, Hold it. Double clutch. Strike a pole with it. He clutch. held it. Did he? Huh. Held it with one hand on it. Yeah. Well, and you gave him advice on the phone last night. No, 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 you, you know what he does? He makes a list of all the great players that came before him, and he calls every one of them after the game. How'd I do? How'd I do? Will you talk about me good on TV No, no, yes, no. We yes, don't talk. Yes, yes, yes. hey, Way to go. No, Congratulations, that, that ain't Odell. What we do, that you know how to play the game. No, you I, play it better than anybody's ever played the game. You see that? Odell made him a cool three-quarter of a meal yesterday because you got 750 and he won the game. Good looking out, Ooh. Odell. Well, Baby girl going off to a great yeah. all the skill. Just admit it. You have no respect. You say Matthew Stafford is not that guy. That guy beat the guy. So now he should be one of the guys. Mm. Took him down. I'm going to say it again. Matt Stafford, until those last two throws to Cooper Bleep and Cup, had 73 yards passing in the second half of it, that game. He was turning back it, into Matt Stafford. Is that you got to force him into problems, and they were about to force him into an overtime problem in which he would have unraveled. So, Thank so, you. So let me ask you a question. So with those, the last, so uh, the fourth quarter, it's four quarters in the game, right? Mm -hmm. So until the game, until the game was over, it's not over, right? Because mm -hmm. that's what you do with Tom Brady. I said Tom Brady played bad, but what about those? Because th remember what you did? Those five throws in the Super Bowl. Can we see those again? Bing, mm. bing, bing. You <laughs> talked about that. Now Matthew Stafford says, "I'm gonna one up you." Mm -hmm. Look at this. Hey, cup. 
I'm coming to see you. My cup he, running he, over. He wasn't coming to My see you. My cup running He's over. He's running a decoy route. <laughs> it's like, way. oh, thank you. I'll just throw None it out for grabs. Oh, that man is throwing that ball up for grabs. Antoine Winfield is standing there flat-footed, and he runs right by him. Skip, you know good where that man is throwing that ball up for grabs. You are stop. Over the weekend, it wasn't oh. just Rams, but you hate oh. you hate what we saw too. last I'm night, I'm a truth guys. teller. No. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show, and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed, or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.